The 1950 College World Series was the fourth NCAA-sanctioned baseball tournament that determined a national champion. The tournament was held as the conclusion of the 1950 NCAA baseball season and was played at Johnny Rosenblatt Stadium in Omaha, Nebraska from June 15 to June 23. It was the first College World Series to be held at the stadium, which hosted the event through 2010. The tournament's champion was the Texas Longhorns, coached by Bib Falk. The most outstanding player was Ray Vancliffe of Rutgers. The championship was the second consecutive for the Longhorns. The tournament consisted of no preliminary round of play, as teams were selected directly into the College World Series. From 1947 to 1949, there likewise was no preliminary round, as the teams were chosen based on committee selections, conference champions, and district playoffs. From 1954 to the present, teams compete in the NCAA Division I baseball tournament preliminary rounds, to determine the eight teams that play in the College World Series. Participants Results Topic Bracket Topic Game results Topic Notable players Alabama, John Baumgartner, Frank Lurie, Al Lurie, Guy Morton Jr. Ed White, Al Worthington Bradley, Bill Tuttle, Andy Varga Colorado A&M, Don Lefty, Straub Rutgers, Hardy Peterson Texas, Charlie Gorin, Cal Segrist, Murray Wall Tufts, Bud Niles, George Minot, Ed Schluntz, Dave Lincoln Washington State, Gene Conley, Ted Tapp Wisconsin, Thornton Kipper, Red Wilson Topic. Tournament notes Texas became the first team to win two consecutive College World Series. Jim Eller threw the first no-hitter in College World Series history. <laughs> Notes <laughs>